Hello students, today we are going to see standard 4 of term 2, unit 3, patterns. Patterns is a logical alignment of numbers. In this chapter, we are going to study about symmetrical shapes of geometry and logical alignment of numbers and shapes. Come, let us move on to the video session. Unit 3, Patterns if a set of numbers are related to specific rule, then the rule or manner is called a pattern. Patterns are also known as sequence. First, we are going to create magic squares using multiples of 9. What is the multiples of 9? The multiples of 9 are 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81 and 90. We have to put these multiples of 9 into the magic squares without repetition. If we, if we add all these numbers horizontally or vertically, the total should be of 135. Guess the number should filled in blue box. It is easy to find the other number by adding 45 and 27 and subtract this with 135. Likewise, you have to find another number also. You have to add 54 plus 72 and then subtract this number with the 135. Did you guess the number? Yes, the numbers are 63 and 9. With the given numbers of previous slide, these two numbers are missing. Children, you have to frame these magic squares of 100. Patterns in geometry. We can able to identify symmetry in geometrical patterns. What is symmetry? We have already learnt that the figures which can be divided into two parts of equal shape and size are called symmetrical figures. See the first picture only half side was drawn. In the second picture, another half side drawn and completed. So, this is a symmetrical pattern. Alphabets and their symmetry. Here, some letters are shown to draw a symmetrical pattern. The line may be in vertical or horizontal. But the shapes of two sides are in equal. Here A, X and H are vertical symmetrical line. O, B and K have horizontal symmetrical line. Children, you should draw the symmetrical lines for the rest of the letters in alphabets. See the geometrical shape. What is this? Yes, it is rectangle. So we have already learnt that rectangle has two lines of symmetry. One is vertical line of symmetry and another one is horizontal line of symmetry. So totally rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Next, we are going to see another geometrical shape. What is this called? Yes, this triangle. A equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. Fill in the boxes with patterns. In the first box, circle. Second, Triangle, 
and third is rectangle and the next is same as follows like circle triangle and rectangle see the second example in the first box two triangles second box one square third box two triangles fourth box two squares and follows two triangles and three squares in the third example first one down arrow next is right arrow third is up arrow and the next fourth is left arrow fifth is down arrow and the sixth is right arrow now we are going to see patterns in designs first complete the patterns according to the previous one in the second sum first one blue color second one is on two colors and the third one is in three colors next tile should be of one color and two colors as the designs of patterns follows this logical alignment is helpful when the tiles should be placed in newly constructed house patterns in numbers see the first sum 1 7 13 19 what comes next 25 how can we get 25 because the difference between the first number and the second number that is 1 and 7 is 6 so 1 plus 6 is 7 7 plus 6 is 13 13 plus 6 is 19 19 plus 6 is 25 25 plus 6 is 31 31 plus 6 is 37 37 plus 6 is 43 the logical alignment of these numbers is based on counting by 6 see the second sum 5 10 15 20 what comes next 25 30 35 40 the pattern based on this sum is counting by fives next sum is 13 1 12 13 11 3 what comes next to three numbers see the difference of numbers see the alternative numbers that is 13 12 11 it is a decreasing order so in the decreasing order we can get next number is 10 and leave one dash and next decreasing number is 9 and see the next number 1 2 3 it is a increasing order so in the leaving dash we can put 4 the pattern followed this sum is decreasing and increasing order of alternative numbers next fourth sum is 2 4 6 8 and the next number is 10 12 14 16 the logical alignment of this number is even numbers or counting by twos children you should try more sums and patterns and draw the symmetrical lines of various geometrical shapes thank you children